just in case the noise in the background is my wife cutting the lawn <sighs> yeah you know what I have lost that battle she wins she has to take it <laughs> now actually she really enjoy doing it uh, so she has the choice to lawn tractor what can I ask more <laughs> okay wraps Roll over protecting system. By no means it's going to be an approved design. What I'm going to do is my own design. My philosophy about that is that whether it's approved or not, having one is going to be much better than none. I'm going to build it over design so I can uh, have protection whatever happens. I've cut most of the material up to now. I'm going to bring it on the table and show you my plan. Three quarter of an inch bolt, graded pipe. Two by three quarter of an inch thick uh, bars. Two by three quarter of an inch thick. Same quarter of an inch thick angle iron two by three one eight thick. Isn't it nice to have a square axle? But it's not exactly square, so there's a little bit bump here. I'm not going to grind it down. So I'm just going to use some shims here and I'm going to sit down here, clamp down and this way I'm going to be clamping on the axle. The actual size of the axle is five and a quarter. So I'm going to use the, the, that. That's exactly the same size. So this is the size of the axle of that machine. So can you see it? The machine is a 35 HP. And that's the size of the axle. <laughs> so no wonder why those machines can last decades and if not even a century. Don't mind those uh, small bars, white bars. This is only to set up the example. So I'm going to use on the bottom those two straps on which I'm going to set up like both sides at the same time. Going to go like so on top three inch wide so I just cut them because I figured something I couldn't make otherwise so that's going to be how I can bolt it then on top of that it's going to both go like so extending at the back purpose of the demonstration so I'm going to go like so and this is going to come I'm going to cut this in an angle uh, like so I'm going to attach it so a couple of spots so the vertical post gets at least two supports okay that's what I came up with. Let me clear the table. Ladders. Okay. So we've got the uh, super plate at the bottom. The two by three, a little bit offset, actually two inches offset from that. So I have uh, room for the bolts, nuts. And uh, I've welded this angle iron on top so that I can bolt the uh, fender on top of it will be standing here now what I need to do is to weld the vertical post <coughs> so I'll match both corners and I'll put the angle until I get the uh, I won. Sorry. Is that delivery? <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Might be something else in it, but it's cold actually. Okay, that should be holding fine so far. So I'll repeat the same on the other side. So I get pretty much a symmetrical part. So what's next is to put small tabs here. So that's, let's say this is the uh, axle. I'm going to put the axle there. But as you can see, there's a wiggle there. Uh, pretty much like this. The axle is a cast iron. Cast iron means that you have two parts. It's going to be cast, but to be able to remove the parts, the molds, uh, it needs to be a little bit taper, bottom and top. Uh, pretty much like this one, has a small crown, so as hard I try to clamp this, it's going to be moving. I'm going to compress the axle casting quite heavily, which is not good. So adding a small tab here and here, or shim. So by experience, it's worth welding, pre-welding the shims here, oops, let me clear that. So ideally is to pre-weld the tabs like so, uh, reason is simple, so trying to fit that on the axle as well as holding the shims as well as so we would need to be like five guys around the uh, machine to set this all so with those tabs even though i have a crown it's going to sit perfectly straight quick update I had to modify the design quite a bit. In fact, the plate was welded the side. So I uh, unweld and actually it's quite a good job. And I welded this side so I uh, have the plate offset to that tube, offset to that tube. Go is that I get sufficient spacing here yet um, I, I'll cut this corner because it's maybe two inches from the uh, tire I cut it to increase the uh, gap although it's not a problem actually and so so that bolts were so to get this post in line where I wanted, I had the bolt right there where the bracket is. So I had to move it so that I can bolt in a free space. I've tested to make sure that there's no interference. So this plate is moving just a little bit. Just make sure that it doesn't make a pinch point. Um, the arms doesn't hit there. Um, that's pretty much it for now. My bolts are a little bit longer. They are 10 inches. I look tomorrow to get maybe eight or nine inches. So that's why I have to put such a stack of washers. 
So that's one post. It seems to me that I have a little bit of play. I mean, there's a good gap here. And from the center, I get 18 inches to the outside of the post, uh, which would be exactly the same as the other case. So I've done the other side. I'm not going to install it because uh, that's quite complicated. I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to weld the top that crosses between two sides. Uh, I put those uh, small tubes on the top because my table is not perfectly flat and I don't like to clamp uh, something. So the contour of uh, the, the table is straight. It's only the middle that has a small bulk. Okay, I've set up the two posts. Um, so they are 36 inches spaced apart. That's pretty much straight within a few thousand of an inch. <laughs> no, actually this, this is straight. Um, now the top member, um, I've decided to let it extend a little bit for no good reason. We see what it does. Anyways, I did the markings. I'm going to clamp some kind of a support here so that I can put the beam here and weld it. And by the way, this is galvanized steel, so I did remove the galvanization from where I'm going to weld. Uh, I have good venting here. Well, time flies by. Um, already weekend is over. It's 9 p.m. and it's about time to paint the project. Okay, so I've uh, added those bracing, small tabs with holes so I can put lights on top of the wrap. And this is thick plate, two by three, one angle iron, put it in angle, weld it. So pretty much simple design. I take this time to paint the, this is the bracket that holds We'll hold this valve up there, like so. So I can put and remove the hood without having to remove the valve. And I've got the bottom plates. didn't approve my methodology to put that up. Anyways, I made it. So I'm going to bolt it down. I'm going to make sure it's centered and bolt it down. I need to put the bolt on this side too. Get that on my head. So 
So the bolt I'm using, three quarter of an inch. I think they are eight inches uh, long and graded five, which I think would be more than sufficient. Okay, this is the final result. I've upgraded the bolts here and there, put new uh, nuts behind, new nuts. In fact, everywhere I do have to remove and put back the hood. That's easier on the long term. Uh, the fenders are a bit high, quite high actually, but I don't, don't mind much about that. It gives me even more protection in between the fenders. Uh, by the way, I had to put a plate to offset a little bit the uh, fender, or otherwise it would have been a little bit too close. Uh, I get maybe two inches. And moreover, I had to put gussets here because um, while I was installing the fender, I heard a big uh, crack. And actually my weld did crack. So uh, my welder is a little bit uh, weak for such thick material. Anyways, so now there's a good gussets. Should hold, should hold uh, very well. Nothing really much new on this side. Uh, I had to cut a little bit the opening here so it does fit well. Uh, next thing would be to uh, take care of those wheels because they are not aligned at all. What else? I've changed the oil. Uh, it was worth changing, believe me. It was quite dark obviously oil is getting dark but um, I take a paper towel and you get a good clue that's pitch dark it's not even tinted it's opaque <laughs> so it seems to be running quite good is good 20 ish psi uh, I can see it's charging actually I was uh, expecting maybe the generator was not working but it's actually working well so I think it's going to be uh, good for some jobs now hope you enjoyed joining me for this uh, quick um, modification of the uh, case see you the next time Thanks.